Hey everyone. Welcome to Sketch a Merch Design Channel. Today we are making a t-shirt design in Kittle. You can watch my other Kittle design tutorials to learn more about Kittle. You will find a link in the description to sign up for free and practice while you are watching the video. So, let's go and get right into the tutorial. From the home menu, press on new project. From the upper menu, we are going to change the dimensions of our artboard. There are many standard artboard sizes, but we are going to enter other dimensions. I always like to work with these dimensions when designing a t-shirt design. You can change the color of your artboard by clicking on it and choosing the color you want from the right menu. From the elements menu, you can search for any graphic elements. Or you can use the upload button to upload any graphic from your computer. For this tutorial, I'll be using another graphic that I uploaded earlier. Right click with your mouse on the graphic to open this menu and click flip horizontal. I'll add a circle for my background. Using the layers panel, you can move the position of any layer. I will send my circle to the back of my design. Also, it makes it easier, for you can change the layer name. You can also hide or unhide any layer from the layers panel. Now, I'll add some elements to my background. You can duplicate any element by moving it while pressing the ALT key to creating another copy. Now, I would like to hide some part of the orange circle. I will use a basic shape to place it in front of the part that I would like to hide. You can add any text by pressing T on your keyboard, or by pressing the text tab from the left menu. The right menu is your menu to control your text elements. You can use it to change the font size, style, and other text settings. 
I've decided to change the font and the angle. You can also change your text decoration and effect from the upper tab in your text menu. I'll change the shadow color of my text. Now, I want to create a swoosh shape under my text. I will use multiple shapes to do that. You can always select multiple elements on your artboard and use the right-click menu to group them together. I will duplicate my text and change the color of the shadows to black to create an offset between the text and my swoosh element. Now, I will add some curved text to the design. I will use one of the text templates to do that. I will change the text and delete the additional text that I don't want.
For the final touches, let's add some stars. Finally, you can add some texture to the design. You can do that through the Textures tab on the left menu. Simply press on the texture you like and it will be placed on your board. I will move the texture layer backward to place it in front of the orange circle, as I only want texture in that area. You can also play with the bending mode of your texture to see how it looks. Once you like your final design, use the upper menu to download the design. Now your design is ready. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.